Hello viewers. I've pulled these um, diodes out of microwave ovens. This is out of two microwaves. It appears the microwaves only use a half wave rect rectification. And um, I want to make a, a high voltage full wave rectifier. So um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get the same components out of two different ovens. So I'll put them together and uh, use the transformer out of one of, of, of another oven and we'll uh, make some big DC. So we set it up like this. We put AC in here and get DC out of here. And there we have it all hooked up. Bridge rectifier. Red is the AC side, black is the DC side. Alright, what we have here is the microwave oven transformer. This is the older style oven transformer. Now they have flybacks in them and a switch mode set up. This is, um, yeah, it's just a you know, big old high, tra high voltage transformer. Primary on the bottom, secondary on the top. Taking a feed from the secondary through the uh, bridge rectifier there. Ignore the capacitor, that's just sitting there to hold the uh, wires together. There's a very small spark gap between those two wires there. I'll turn it on and show you what we've got. Now this is DC, this is very dangerous. I don't encourage anyone to try this at home. Smoke in. So there you have it. High voltage DC from a microwave oven transformer and uh, the rectifiers out of two ovens. Okay, so I hooked it up to a xenon flash tube. I'll show you what that does. kind of expecting a bit more off this because this is the uh, high voltage DC on the crop cell. Get a lot more production at lower amps. No, lower voltage, sorry. No arc in there. Fairly tame. For interest sake, I've just hooked up the um, xenon flash tube in line so we have a spark gap before we come to the cell. I haven't turned this on yet, so uh, yeah, here we go. Again, very little production. Now we'll try uh, water in the spark plug. I've got the spark plug here and a shroud over the top. I've got a feed line here, but I'm not using that at the moment. It's just, uh, I've just filled it up and it's sitting there full. Cool. See what that does. sodium hydroxide.
also wanted to tell you about this bottle that I bought. Perfect thing for doing a volume test with a floating bottle style gas meter. Uh, yeah, I got it from a kitchen supply shop for about four bucks. It's graduated with a litre at 100 mil intervals and um, yeah, I plan to use that as a floating bottle to do the gas meter thing. Thanks for watching.